defense kind of leads the way. Uh, but, you know, uh, Alexis was saying at halftime, they were like, this is on us. We've got to change things. It's got to be nice to see this team kind of find a way to adjust there in the second half and take it off and hopefully get this win. Oh, there's no question. I mean, and that's the great thing about um, Lex and Acacia and, you know, the, the you know, they're, it's, they're leaders. And when you can rely on your players to lead, um, like we talk about all the time, you know, you're going to have success. And that's, that's, you know, that's kind of the epitome of what we're talking about right there, just in a small sample size of what this team's about and the culture and the closeness. So uh, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. And, you know, they do it a lot in practice. And so it's a, it's, it's a good thing. It's a positive thing. And it's a nice trend to continue to have. You know, when you look at the shooting by period, 4 for 14 field goal in the first, 1 for 19 in the second, there's not a lot that could be said to go from that for 10 to 17 in the third and 8 for 16 in the fourth. It's more about what they're doing rather than what you all are saying. You know, you can only say so much for them to go out and shoot that different. Um, in terms of what you all did say, though, what was kind of the main thing you wanted to address during that halftime break? Relax. I mean, they just did it uh, on the road at Miami, Ohio. You know, it's just, you know, sometimes we, we can't get out of our own way, so to speak. And, you know, to their credit, you know, they, they have a lot of pride. They have a lot of pride, and they, 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 along with that leadership comes responsibility, and they feel that responsibility and to build and try to maybe do a little too much sometimes, you know, single-handedly. And so we're, you know, we, we tell them to relax. We're not worried about the offense. Coach tells them that all the time because, you know, right now we are creating a lot of our offense out of our defense. But, um, yeah, I mean, you, you score 14 points in the first half and you score 49 in the second half. It tells you everything you need to know, you know, you know, leading to what you're what you're talking about. But we scored 39 in the third quarter alone on the road at Miami, Ohio. So that builds confidence. That builds confidence. That builds everything that that they need with their inner self and you know, you know, in in their mental state of knowing, hey, we've been there, we've done it, and now we've done it again. So, you know, hopefully that serves us well, uh, getting ready to hit the road and play three in a row. Oh, absolutely. That's a great point, and you, you couldn't be more, you know, couldn't be more correct on that because, you know, it, again, you know, she deserves it. You know, she's a senior. Uh, she's battled a lot of things, and uh, to see her get what she really deserves uh, and, and shine bright when, when, when she's called upon uh, does all of our hearts really good. Proud of her. Um, these last two games were the first two games of the season where you all kind of won the rebounding battle, <laughs> um, and it's, I mean, this game, I think, one. One, and then last game it wasn't that drastic number either. But you know, winning by small margin is much better than losing by a big margin. So you are taking these steps. Has, has rebounding been a point of emphasis in those practices? Oh, I wish Coach Collins was here to answer that. <laughs> he, he might jump through the ceiling. Uh, I will for him. But yes, every day, every scout, every practice um, since June. You know, back in summer when we're all here and everybody else is on vacation, uh, it's been you know. You know about rebounding, about our defense. You know, be disruptive, deny, defend. Um, all those things. All those things have been have been um, targeted for a reason and emphasized since since June. So yes, to answer your question, absolutely yes. You mentioned uh, what's coming up, obviously, Florida this weekend. No big challenge to start with Kansas State. I think the team that beat Iowa last week. They did. Yeah, it is. It's a it's a great test, and um, it's kind of why we're doing it because, you know, we had a shot at Vanderbilt and came up a, you know, a couple buckets short. Uh, you know, got got beat three. Had a had a nice look at the at the end of the game and just you know round ball didn't go in round rim. So uh, now we get a get a second shot at a at a power five, and that's why we're doing it. You know, we want to we want to prepare. Coach has a plan in place, and that is to build this team. And when we get to that point. Um, whenever that may or may not be, as far as timeline, uh, we hope it's now. That's our goal, uh, to go play another Power Five and take our shot at it and see what happens to prepare us for going to the NCAA tournament. It's got to be nice to know that your leading scores are also filling up the stat sheet somewhere else. I mean, Acacia with the 18 points, she's also right. got five steals and assists and four rebounds. Alexis had the 12 points, five assists, seven rebounds. You know, even Aaliyah had the 12 and two and one. You know, it's got to be nice that it's 
you don't just have a lot of girls who go out there and just put the ball in the basket. They're making plays every single place on the court. Yeah, and I'd put Josie in that category too because yeah. I think she had six points and in, 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 in three big steals. Three, three absolutely. And you know she's the you know again she's that that type of player exactly what you're talking about, in the fact of a lot of those things that she does on a daily basis in practice leads to games to where you never see a lot of times in a stat sheet, but now it's coming around and you do see those things. And I guess the one word I would use the most to your to what you're talking about is balance. And balance doesn't always have to be in you know total points you know that, that you have as an individual. It could be. It's got to be whether it's rebounds, whether it's steals, whether it's assists. I think we had one, if not two, assists the entire first half, and so then we completely turned that around. So you know that that's that's all positive things, and um, you know they're learning. They're learning. They're learning how to uh, uh, to get themselves out of you know maybe a hole that they shouldn't be in, but they you know they they take it upon themselves and uh, they they've done a really nice job with it. Experience. I mean, that's the first thing and foremost of all is, you know, when you have true freshmen on the floor, you know, as, as Jalen and, you know, Mackenzie was here, you know, a semester, but she's a freshman and uh, they is a freshman. And anytime you can get freshman true quality minutes in games, it, it's priceless because to me, you know, and, 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 it, and it does our heart good as well to see them get the opportunity because, you know, they, they do so much in practice and they, to get that reward and earn that, those minutes when you get into a game situation and watch them thrive and, and, and get that experience, it, 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 you know, it creates exactly what you're talking about, a deep bench and the depth that we need moving forward.